Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad Nafal Hakim bin Muhammad Nazri My class is F1 for the English class So this is my friend My name is Alia Amadi bin Tiyutri from F1 Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Afiq Hakimi bin Zainal Abidin My metric number is F21A1122 I am from Fiat Class 1 English 2. So here I am, I would like to explain why we choose Kotekin Abadu as our plan for holiday. Uh, it is because the view of Mount Kinabalu are very, very, very amazing. And uh, there have a lot of nature thing that we are looking for. Despite all the way from hustle and bustle of city life, uh, Kinabalu is the best way to relax in harmony nature pair with temperature and weather and last greenery in there or in the morning or late afternoon we will be able to see the clear view of the summit mount of Kota Kinabalu. There are a lot of variety resort and huts in there like Mongolian yards, cute huts with catchy name, farm stay, shelter, villa and also hotel from all the varieties that you can choose. All of these unique a communication come with an amazing landscape and five star of view and five star of view with a well preserved mountain forest if you are looking for some natural hot spring sabah has a lot of hot spring there such as uh, pouring hot spring in rana where you can choose whether you want to soak yourself in the big hot pool or maybe individually open bathtub the water but you don't have to worry because the water from the uh, for, from the individually bathtub is also came from the natural hot spring despite the tub being man-made kota kinabalu also a home for the world largest flower which is uh, rafflesia um, out of 55 from species of rafflesia nine of them are found in the borneo where mount kinabalu stand proudly of them if you are a beginner hiker looking for some casual uh, natural stroll with your friends uh, there is still got a place for you to go hiking at your own pace for climber you will get offer with two climbing trail that uh, would normally take uh, you around two days to uh, reach the low peak which is the highest point of mount kinabalu so, we would like to go to the Sabah in about 4 day and 3 night. It is not too long and not too short. So, for the first day, in the morning, we will go to the floating house at Kampung Ayi. On the afternoon, we will go to the Tamparuli Bridge. And the evening, we will go to the Kota Buluk to see the highest mountain in the Southeast Asia, which is Gunung Kinabalu. Alright, for the second day, in the morning, we will go to the Kota Kinabalu War Memorial at Kundasam. On there, there has many history about the Kundasang and the Australia. So in the afternoon, we will go to the Sabah Tea at Ranau. And the evening, we will go to the Desert Dairy Farm at Masilau. So on the third day, in the morning, we will go to the Pulau Manukan and Pulau Mamuti. Which is on the evening, we will see the very beautiful sunset at that time. And... We will go to the dinner at the Gerai Anjong Kasih Adinda Which is, they have many lobster and any other seafood on there Which is fresh from the sea So on the last day, which is day 4 In the morning, we will visit the uh, most famous tower in the Sabah Which is the Tun Mustafa Tower And on the afternoon we will go to the Philippine market to buy the souvenir and others. So that's all for me. Thank you. Today I want to talk about travel plan in the future. For my part, I will discuss about which one are you going to travel. Why? I would like to travel with my family because my whole family love the scenery of nature. In addition, traveling with the family is one way we can strengthen family ties. This way, the family members can take this opportunity to gather with the family. This method is great for family members who are always busy working and busy with daily activities and have no time to be with family. Not only that, all family members can get the same new experience as trying something that cannot or has never been done in their own state. 
Getting the same experience together means doing the same thing together. This way we add to the fun and add sentiment of being spent together while traveling. Next, they can also get to know or learn about the state visited. If we learn about other state in more depth, our knowledge and insight also increase. That's, that's way we can also share experiences with other people. We also will not be left behind if friend. Relative chat about the state let alone its privileges. Finally, the benefit of traveling with family, we can really stress and call our minds. In addition, we can feel the joy together with the family and strengthen the bond of friendship between family members. Thus, there is a harmonious and happy family. That's all for me. Thank you.